Mama. Would you like some tea? It's chilly in here. It's all right. You don't want to talk to me, Mama. I know you must be very angry with me. You're home for good? Or is this a visit? I don't know. I thought I'd come back and talk to you about it. Like you talked to me the night you left, without a word. You're the one who didn't talk, Mama. You never gave me a chance to say anything. I heard what you had to say. I didn't have to hear no more. Look, Mama, I'm not crying. I know you're very angry with me, but I'm not crying. And it's not because I'm afraid to cry. It's because I have no tears left in me. I feel sort of empty inside, like you feel all the time. Yeah. How would you know how I feel? You don't think I know anything, do you? You think I'm stupid, don't you, Mama? No, you're not stupid. Then what? Am I crazy? Do you think I'm crazy, Mama? Mama? Don't use that word to me. Why not? Are you afraid of it? If that's what I am, Mama, don't be afraid to say it, because if I'm crazy, I should be in the home, shouldn't I? But then you'd be alone and you wouldn't like that. Is that why you don't use the word mama? You want to know what you are, Bella? You're a child. That's what the doctors told me. Not crazy, not stupid, a child. And that's how I treat you, because that's all you understand. You don't need doctors. You're not sick. You don't need to live in the home. This is where you live, where you can be watched and taken care of. You'll always be a child, Bella. And in this world, where there is so much hate and sickness and death, where nobody can live in peace, then maybe you're better off. Stay a child, Bella, and be glad that's what God made you. Then why did he make me look like a woman? and feel like a woman inside of me and want all the things a woman should have. Is that what I should thank him for? Why did he do that, Mama, when I can do everything but think like a woman? <coughs> I know I get confused sometimes and, and, and frightened, but if I'm, a, if I'm a child, why can't I be happy like a child? Why can't I be satisfied with dolls instead of babies? I'm not so smart I can answer such things. But I am smart, Mama. Maybe only as smart as a child, but some children are smarter than grown-ups. Some grown-ups I've seen are very stupid and very mean. You don't have responsibilities, Bella. And responsibilities is what makes meanness. I don't want to be your responsibility. And maybe you won't be so mean to me. Then who will be responsible for you? Yourself? That man you ran away with who wants money from you? Who wants other things from you? God only knows what else. Things you would never know about. Stay the way you are, Bella, because you don't know what such feelings would do to you. Yes, I do. Only I've been afraid to tell it to you for all these years. <coughs> do you hate me, Mama? Tell me, because I don't know if I did wrong or right. You're angry, so you tell lies. I don't want to hear your childish lies. No. You have to listen, Mama. When I was in school, I let boys touch me, and boys I met in the park and in the movies, even boys I met here in the store. Nights when you were asleep, I went down and let them in. And not just boys, Mama, men too. Stop this, Bella. You don't know what you're saying. You dream these things in your head. I needed somebody to touch me, Mama. Someone to hold me, to tell me I was pretty. You never told me that. John loved me because he understood me, because he was like me. He was the only one I ever felt safe with, and I thought maybe for the first time I could be happy. That's why I ran away. I even brought the $5,000 to give him for the restaurant. Then maybe he'd find the courage to leave home, too. Is this something else you dreamed of? Where would you get $5,000? Does this look like a dream, Mama? Where did you get it? Did you steal from me? You know where I keep my money. Nobody else knows but you. You thief! You steal from your own mother. Thief!
go on. Hit me, Mama. Crack my head open. Make me stupid and crazy because that's what you really think anyway, isn't it? Get out of my house. Go live with your thief friend. You want the rest of the money? Go take it. It won't last you long. You'll both have to steal again to keep alive, believe me. I don't want the rest of your money. You can have this, too. Louis gave it to me. Maybe he's a thief, too, Mama. But he's my brother, and he loved me enough to want to help. Thieves and sick little girls, that's what you have, Mama. Only God didn't make them that way. You did. You're alive, Mama, but that's all we are. Aaron and Rose are the lucky ones. No! Don't say that. For God's sake, don't say that to me. I'm sorry, Mama. I didn't mean to hurt yes, you. Yes, you did. It's my punishment for being alive, for surviving my own children. Not dying before them is my sin. Go, Bella. Take Louis's money. You think I don't know what he is? He stole since he was five years old, the year Alan died. And I closed off from him and everybody, from you and Louis, from Gert and Eddie. I lost Rose, then Alan, and I stopped feeling because I couldn't stand losing anymore. Mama! Go. Open your restaurant, live your own life, have your own babies. If it's a mistake, let it be your mistake. If I've done wrong by you, then it's for me to deal with. That's how I lived my life, and no one, not even you, can change that for me now. There is no restaurant, Mama. He's afraid to be a businessman or a manager. He likes being an usher. He doesn't want babies. He doesn't want to get married. He wants to live with his parents because he knows that they love him. And that's enough for him. Then maybe he's more lucky than you. Maybe he is. But I'll never stop wanting what I don't have. It's too late to go back for me. Maybe I'm still a child, but now there's just enough woman in me to make me miserable. We have to learn how to deal with that somehow, you and me. And it can never be the same anymore. I think we've all said enough for one day, don't you? <laughs>